Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales Pirates of Valerian. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the exploration of the Valerian Archipelagio. And uh, we have done a couple of islands. I did the uh, Isle of Dead here. Nothing really major has happened there, just a few dead encounters. So we were climbing steadily. Uh, in our ranks as a pirate mean in the meantime and these were really the highlights of what was happening off camera today i want to invite you to join me exploring the reefs uh, maybe we can find something cool the sea monster would be great we could battle it that indeed would be awesome This, this here looks like something that could have a great reward in it, but it also looks dangerous. So let's see what we're uh, going to find. If I was a betting man, I would say we're going to find some really nice treasure there. Good. For the shark. what we found here you've discovered the secret hoist and a ship's lock all right uh, what's the secret that we discovered Okay, so it was one of uh, those hulls uh, there. Still haven't discovered the secret for a ballista. We're the only ship on that entire uh, sea which does not have a ballista on board. Whilst we're waiting here, let's chill out. Take a little snack. I find it fascinating how five people and a horse live off of two fish day in and day out. But okay. Let's suspend our disbelief here for a second. Good, we're going to go and explore the southern part. Uh, that potentially has just caused damage to the ship. What I really like about the uh, ship implementation is it feels like a ship. Uh, you potentially can't relate too much to it by just watching it, but if you've ever steered a ship, they have a very nice uh, just digitalization of that. Ships don't react immediately. It's always a bit of a delay and it feels like you're riding on this massive pool of water. Good, we found new land 
And as you can see, we're very, very close to the next jump in reputation, which one of the pirates is going to be miffed about and will potentially start hunting us. Isle of Worthy. Interesting. I can already see a couple of lizards, and I don't like it. Yep. Definitely a landing spot. I think before we're going on land, we're taking one more rest without getting interrupted. In a perfect scenario, we're not immediately going to run into the entire island. And if possible, I also would prefer not to meet the ghost pack. Good. I'd be curious to see uh, what we're running into. There are a lot of lizards around. By the way, apparently the community must have given the feedback there is too little fishing. But holy, holy moly, I think despite skilling out of fishing, Noodle might be the first one who masters his craft. Like, there's a lot of fishing to be done. And I never had so much spare food. So much so that the whole food is way too, way too heavy for us. get rid of some of it. You can always put more into the uh, into the chest of our uh, ship. Oh man. I don't want to fish. And I didn't want to fight the sirens. Never mind, I, we wanted to just get on land, but no, everything's hostile. Okay, so just out of curiosity. Could get three of these guys. Why try that? Why not? All right, bring it on. Come here. That was okay. I would have wanted a little bit more damage, but thanks to the bloodshed, uh, it's actually not too bad. To be fair, these guys are rocking 190 points of damage, so getting them down, not an easy task. Look at that, we got our blackout. Unfortunately, blackout is melee. That makes it less great. But it's still okay, I guess.
out of curiosity, I would throwing this here. Oh my god. That's like two hits for the cost of one. Oh yeah, that's really good. The assassin just killed all of them in one go. Leave something to the others, gnome, please. We just killed them in one go. Yep. The damage and the builds are working very well. I'm happy with them. Good. Just to get the fish and to empty our backpacks afterwards, we're heavily overloaded. Might as well get him uh, from journeyman to master. I think I've never had a fishing master because prior to the pirates it was just very difficult to find fishing pots and Frankly, it wasn't worth it. There were 101 other ways of uh, creating food. But if you so conveniently place all of the fish left and right, then of course it changes the situation a little bit. Good get all of that off let's uh, look at the biggest weight that we do have even the salt is heavy we have plenty of rum way more than we need better off. I like to have a little bit of wiggling room so that we can actually collect stuff. But we've already figured out that nothing is here. So we need to land on the other side. What an irony. All of this, this for a little bit of fish. I'm missing the secret on the side of uh, the map. Can I? Can't, can't we just land here? Yeah, there is definitely something up there. Although it is a bit far fetched that someone would actually live up there. How do we get over there? 
Can I steer through here? Is that what how it's supposed to go? The answer clearly is no. So we would want to land somewhere here. Doesn't appear as if there is a bridge. Oh wait, there is. Right, right there. Okay. Time to give it one more shot. anything that we would want to learn life at the sea requires less food if there is anything that we have plenty of then it's food i wish the food into selling ratio would be a little bit better ten wood and we have a bridge to build okay we can do that Luckily for us, we always have a bit of wood at our hands. Good, attempt number two. Let's rebuild the bridge. the lizards and apparently someone has been here because someone was climbing all the way up here someone who left a big bad tome of knowledge up here Don't tell me these are the trackers. Like, that's the least favorable position. Okay, castaways. I was about to say, well... You couldn't hide better. Unfortunately, starved to death. We found a treasure. Level 7. Um, damage to the target and force them to engage. Uh, that is pretty much the same pirate uh, cutlass that we are rocking at the moment. Let's see. Our right, boarding cutlass, and we got the same one. Minus the protection. Minus the protection oil. Okay, not really an upgrade, but cool. We found a treasure. Castaway means they m might have stranded here. And you can see, just as we did that, our reputation now is as high as that of Ishia, who is the next captain on the list. I think it is number four, if I'm not mistaken. So... We're actually becoming someone in the world of pirates. Isha is over there.
Good. My experience is the pirates will eventually start to hunt and find you, so there is absolutely no need to speed up the process in, uh, of finding her. There will be a time and a place when she's going to come. Or he. Isha is a, is a female name, I think. Well, nowadays you can never be sure. One thing is, uh, is for certain, they identify as a pirate. And they don't like competition. Good. Or... Resting one more time. Unfortunately, this adventure is as great as they are. Really running out of money. Finally, a new beach. Sandbar. Interesting. Well, let's see what we're going to find. Apparently this is really just sandbar. Not even a real island. Unbelievable just how fast fishing goes up. Like, you would be crazy not to take fishing. Just the amount of food that you're getting, it's, it's crazy. Unfortunately, you're, you don't need that much food. So I wish there would be more of a gold uh, making skill. Can only attack these guys. Lots of dead bodies are washing up here. Well, let's get this Orient's done. Huge amount of enemies over there, but also quite a few enemies over here. And I have to wonder... If... Janitor was to move in... Could hit a quad if we're playing it correct. That's almost a kill. That is equally almost a kill. And we're moving back, just getting some Veller back. These lizards are dangerous. Uh, they do have a poisonous tail and they have damage reflect uh, for melee attacks. Uh, well, not damage reflect, more you start to bleed if you hit one of them in melee. Good. This is going to be great. That's the play of uh, the combat. Bring it on. it <laughs> it can hardly 
get any better than that. That was like 800 damage in one in one sitting. That was just insane nuts. Put the one into position and then uh, just got all of the others together. And if the moment that you kill one, he starts uh, to attack once more. So it was clear that he would attack four times uh, since it was the first attack. Um, it was also clear that it would count for 150 uh, plus 150 damage, so 250%. Uh, percent. And then it's four attacks, so that in itself is already uh, crazy. But the real uh, crazy part was when they started to die, because all of a sudden we got extra damage. So at the end of the day, it could be up to eight swings. So if I could ever hit a five man, that would be very difficult to pull off. But technically, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, technically, a seven man would be possible, but that uh, that would need to be like a complete U shape with an uh, with an entrance, and you kind of go in there, and then you. Uh, you just spin and spin and spin. Uh, besides that, I think four hits is plenty. a lot of attacks. Good. Dragon hit and might even be a kill. If the answer is no, then Fine. Moves up. Hits and kills. I want to give a couple of uh, kills to Noodle Keeper. It doesn't change the XP that he's getting, but maybe he gets a couple of good trades for actually executing them. Okay, decent. Let's see. Um, anyone who needs repairs? Yeah, I think for you it would be a good idea to have full repair. Good, and we can now finally approach the chests. This is our wreck. We were Just because you killed the Saurians doesn't give you any... We've been waiting for hours for those beasts to finish eating the drowned crew. So Are you no kidding me? <laughs> Some people will never learn. Here is their flaw in their thinking process. If they needed to wait for the reptiles that we so handily, uh, handy dandily defeated, 
What does, uh, what makes them think that they are just going to show up and kill us? Yep, take your time. I'm waiting for an explanation. The answer is, of course, nothing. It's a stupid idea. Good, I'm spotting a triplet. All right, bring it on. Come closer, my friends. Yep, that was plenty good. <laughs> ah, they were just waiting for it to happen. Still need a bit more damage. I like where this is going, but the Pugilist needs more damage. If you compare it with the excessive amount of skills that the rope is using and just a crit. But we haven't uh, tested the Pugilist's other builds. I think my biggest disappointment with the class so far is that I wanted to create them to be a bruiser, but really they are not that tanky to begin with i i overestimated their tankiness they have 16 percent uh, um, uh, guard and even if we get them up to 20 with a proper helmet maybe with the right armor but yeah that's not it's not great so here they do have uh, medium armor medium helmet medium armor medium helmet uh, light armor light helmet so by thinking about it, take down, switches places, critical damage increased by 50%, and units guard is doubled. Um, I should have potentially gotten wrestler. That would have been more what I was thinking, because with the units guard doubling, uh, we would be at 40 guard. And that wouldn't be too bad, that actually is is a proper tank. The Slayer definitely is the DPS, and the Bruiser is anywhere in the, uh, in the middle. But it falls under the category of maybe not good, uh, good enough. Uh, so this here is uh, good. Um, the, the Rage... Definitely fantastic, uh, stacks up nicely, so I like that. Uh, not sure if uh, the adaption would have been good with more stance changes, because sometimes I want to get both stances down, and being able to change more than once per round isn't too bad. Uh, that not, uh, not that needed. Focus is okay, but I think the others are better. Um, we will see how it plays out. I still think um, he could be a good off tank, but I need to make it work differently. Uh, if I have a little bit of money to spare, we might go down the wrestling route, because I like the idea of uh, the in position, which is guard doubling. And that would be 20 guard plus, yeah, whatever, uh, whatever else um, we're getting. So maybe we can get up to 50. Fragile and valuable goods that are most likely contraband. Okay. Okay. 
Well, now we are hunted. We could claim that we honestly didn't know that they were contraband. It's not like they are marked. Uh, this is uh, stolen. Do not approach. Yeah, the Pugilist class, I like what I'm seeing so, uh, so far. But I think it's a case of being stuck too much in the middle. If we can get that in position, that would be really, really helpful. Specifically with the unique claws that we're having, you're building up stacks for extra attacks. And you're getting in position at the same time. That's a very, very strong uh, combination. The one that we're currently having isn't bad either. But I think the in position would be stronger. Uh oh. Don't want to be chased by the guards. Alright, too late. They are pretty fast as well. And we don't even have a tavern here. Fantastic. I just wanted to hand in our rewards because we have 650. Like no, we don't want to steal anything. I just want repairs. To set out on your next adventure. That gives us even more wanted new, no, thank you. This one can be sold. All of that can be sold. We got a little bit of money now. We just generally got a lot of stuff laying around. Okay, we want to get over here. Yeah, we want to get over there. And if possible, I don't want to be caught by the police, the popo. So, see you later, alligator. Good, let's explore a little bit further, and if something big happens, I think then we'll call the episode. Already well in, had a couple of good fights, and an overall successful episode. 
Uh, by thinking about it, let's call it now, and we're going to see each other in the next episode when we're exploring this here. Jewel Island. Alright, have a good one. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and as always, if you like War Tales content, leave a comment and a like down below, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.